a driller will look at the hand, work out the pitches, work everything out, look at the bowler themselves and work out how they bowl and where their positive axis point is and they'll measure the ball accordingly. Talking of drilling the ball is certain key coordinates on the ball itself. There is what's called the major pin which is effectively the top of the ball in the mould that's left so you can see where the top of the ball is. And the balls are usually marked with either a punch mark or some of the balls have a little hand or a, or a target sign for the centre of the ball and some other balls depending on how they are will contain a mass bios mark which is basically where the weight of the ball the major part of the weight of the ball is when the ball is rotating down the lane so looking at for a ball driller once they've measured the hand so they know exactly what size and what pitch on the finger holes and, and the thumb hole they'll then look at how that bowler bowls and they'll find the their positive axis point which is where the ball spins where the ball actually spins when it's released by the bowler those points the pin the center of gravity the mass bios and the positive axis point are the, the coordinates you use to drill a ball to make it do a certain thing if the bowler is a high rev bowler that wants it to go long and come in late You'll, do, you'll drill that differently, you might drill that pin up and it'll, it'll make it, in other words, the pin's higher than the fingers. It'll make it stay later before it snaps in. If it's a, a, a somebody who's fairly fast lane speed but not a lot of revs, you'll drill it pinned down because that'll encourage the ball to come in earlier. So all these things relate to how the ball will react for that particular bowler. When we mention lane conditions, the, the actual lanes themselves, whether they be wood or synthetic lanes, some of wood, some of pine, uh, once the headers are actually maple because it's hard wood where the ball's landing, because the actual impact of the ball, the, the very small point of impact, creates something like 12,000 degrees for a split second. If they weren't oiled and they weren't hard wood, you'd see burn marks all over the, the early part of the head of the lane. But both types of lane are oiled to protect them. The, the bowling ball manufacturers and the bowler make use of the oil, basically. It wasn't designed for bowlers to use, but like everything else, if it can be used, people will find a way of using it. What happens is that a pattern will go down, say, in a Christmas tree shape. So as you go further down, the point of the Christmas tree will be at the, at the pin end. Usually a pattern will be around 38 to 40 feet. And after that, it'll be dry. So the distance from the foul line to the pins is 60 feet. So you may well have 20 feet of dry lane to work with. And that's where the rotation of the ball will kick in. The bowler will spin the ball, you'll see rotation on the ball, but the ball will skid straight across the oil, hit the dry back end, and the sideways spin will kick in then and make it hook or move from one side to the other. Right to left for a right-handed bowler, left to right for a left-handed bowler. Once that sideways action has kicked in, the sideways roll, the forward momentum of the ball will then encourage the ball to, to move into its proper forward roll as it's biting the lane. So you'll get a skid over the oil, a hooking phase, and then a roll into the pin. So it almost looks like the ball picks up speed as it drives into the pins. 